So you just heard three different notes played by three different instruments and they all sounded different, but they were the same note and around the same volume. So what changed? Well, it's the timbre. Timbre is defined as the quality of a note, independent from pitch and volume. And to understand this deeper, the first thing we need to look at is waves. <laughs> now, a transverse wave looks like this. And, I mean, you'll see the, the nature of it, it goes up and down. The highest point of the wave is called the crest, and the lowest is the trough. And the points that have zero height are the nodes. And the height of the wave going up to the crest or down to the trough is called the amplitude. And the wavelength is the distance from crest to crest or trough to trough. Frequency can be understood as how many wavelengths a wave passes in a given time frame. Now here's a longitudinal wave. The parts where it squeezes together are called the compressions, and the parts where it's further apart are called rarefactions. Now the distance from rarefaction to rarefaction, or compression to compression, is the longitudinal wave's wave wavelength. And sound waves are longitudinal. Now a really important thing when dealing with transverse waves is adding them and subtracting them. This is really cool. So at any given point, we can add the amplitude of one wave to the amplitude of the other to get the sum of the waves at that point. And if we do it from multiple waves, we can find the sum of the two waves. And we can see this equation as just the equation for one plus the equation for the other. And at this point, I want to just introduce two new types of waves, square waves and triangle waves. And they look exactly as shown. Now, here's the really crazy thing. Uh, we can add sine waves with different frequencies or different wavelengths and different amplitudes to get really cool results. And if we keep adding sine waves, we get something really crazy. We get a square wave. And we're adding these terms and it starts with the big sine wave and then smaller sine waves. But we get a square wave. This series of adding waves is known as the Fourier series. And it's so cool. Now, at this point, I want to encourage you to try this out on your own, because having this aha moment is just such a beautiful part of mathematics. Well, let's go back to timbre. If, if I play a sine wave, it sounds like this. And if I play a triangle wave, it sounds like this. And if I play, play a square wave, then it sounds like this. We can add sine waves of di with different frequencies and different amplitudes to change the timbre. And these are called overtones and this is why different instruments sound different. To conclude this video, I hope you learned something extraordinary today. Thank you. Signing off.